What's up, guys? Happy Hump Day. It's your boy, Hamid G, coming at you to let you know what's going on in the wild, wild west of crypto land, guys. In today's video, we're going to briefly look at the charts and talk about some levels of resistance and support for Dogecoin. Then we're going to get into some articles uh, about Doge, right? Some new updates, you know what I mean? It's from a new company that is now accepting Doge as a form of payment. And to uh, a millionaire uh, from 2021 that became a millionaire Dogecoin. And to an article from what the co uh creator of dogecoin right now if all of this sounds good to you and you're new to the channel please consider to like and subscribe don't forget about my giveaway guys i will be breaking off some but individual 300 dollars of free crypto when we get 1000 subscribers now if you're new to the channel and you like free crypto what you win for hit that subscription bell and turn it on to all and none of this is financial advice it's just me yip yapping on youtube nothing more nothing less now let's just get it all right guys now let's just briefly look at the markets we're overall in the green guys why? Because good old Grandpa Bitcoin is happy and he is in the green. You know what I'm saying? So everything is, is pretty much in the green. Granted, there's a couple altcoins that are in the red. But for the most part, guys, we're all in the green. Right? Green like dinero. We like that, right? So Bitcoin is currently up 4.23%, 4 guys, and it is at 33708 Not too bad, considering we had dipped down yesterday to... 29,000 and everybody was like, oh, it's the bear. The bear market is here. I told you we're going to go down to 20K, 10K and blah, blah, blah. All these haters and just non-sayers, <clears throat> you know, non-believers, guys. Like I keep saying, this is the beginning of digital assets, cryptocurrency. We're in the beginning stages like when the internet was uh, in the beginning stages. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to say that, guys. I hope you guys really, truly think about that, man. Life-changing wealth will be made for those who hodl and continue to just hodl for the long term all right guys good old dogecoin oh, oh, dogecoin to the moon guys it's currently at 23 cents at that level of resistance that i said we are up 25.29 percent for the day we have a 24 hour high of 24 cents 24 hour low of 18 cents guys our market cap is sitting at 30.3 uh, billion dollars and volume in the last 24 hours is at 5.27 billion dollars guys we have came down a little bit just yesterday we were sitting at a little bit over seven billion dollars right in our volume for the last 24 hours which is crucial and important guys we need more volume right which creates a uh, buying pressure which in return helps the price of doge go up now let's look at the charts and see what's going on here guys before we get into uh some of the fundamentals let's look at the technicals real quick and look at the chart right guys now i like to let me shrink my uh, handsome face up put myself in the corner i like to look at the weekly chart okay guys so now every candle here represents a week okay guys so now as you can see i have a box here already set up okay guys so we're going to start off with the level of support first which is the very bottom um horizontal line okay that is 16 cents we have already established it because yesterday guys and the day before we had hit we touched down to 16 cents right guys and then people stepped in and bought the dip right and then brought the price up but nonetheless right for uh past couple of days we had touched down to as low as 16 cents right as support well needless to say about nine weeks ago guys we had that level as a uh, level of support as well as you can see on the weekly candle here that is right above the green fx okay guys that is actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten weeks ago which is two and a half months ago guys right we were using this level of 16 cents as a level of support okay <clears throat> that's why i use this level and to me in my opinion that's why this level of 16 cents was crucial which it has proved, it has proved to be a good level of support now as far as resistance goes now if you see this big red weekly candle right in the spanking center of the chart right guys we wick down to 23 cents there right guys so that's why for me that's why that is the level of resistance okay so as you can see we we went up to 24 cents a little bit earlier today guys and then we pulled back right guys back down to 23 cents and then we pulled down back to 22 cents okay so now we've been kind of bouncing around 22 23 cents right so for me you know what i mean this is the box here right for right now hopefully we're gonna break out of this 23 cents right guys then the next level of resistance will be at 25 cents right guys but we'll talk about that when we get there so for now 23 cents is a level of resistance okay and 16 cents is a level of support right this is the box right here that you see right that we can pretty much be consolidating in here for maybe a couple days maybe a week who knows how long we'll be consolidating right we need more volume to create buying pressure to hopefully blast past this 23 cents level of resistance but nonetheless i say all that to say this guys 
resistance 23 cents level of support 16 cents that is the key takeaway at looking at the chart okay guys so i like to keep it easy and breezy on this uh the technical side of things guys so now let's get into some fundamentals that can hopefully help the price of doge in the near foreseeable future right they can act as positive catalyst first we're going to get into uh uh, uh, uh right, right here it's important guys because it shows the importance of hodling and truly believing in what you're investing in right having a major conviction right guys it says he's not a dogecoin millionaire because he didn't sell it says the price of dogecoin continues to sink down 40 percent in the last seven days right now it's talking about this gentleman here who invested all his money we'll dive into the article it says uh globber contesto put all his money into dogecoin his holdings went up in value and touched two million but the vol volatile uh meme coin has since dipped and he is no longer dogecoin millionaire right he's the true definition of diamond hands it says globber contesto put everything he had into dogecoin a highly volatile cryptocurrency that was originally invented as a joke he rode that investment to millionaire status and in a profile in the new york times in may it says contesto 33 invested dogecoin last february according to the new york times the investor used all his savings and credit card debt to invest 250,000 in the cryptocurrency last month his holdings touched 2 million in a tweet in april he claimed to be the first dogecoin millionaire right then it says but despite the surge in value of the coin rising from more than 12,000 percent from january to its peak in uh, may contesto didn't cash out now the price of the meme coin has dropped dramatically along with the rest of the market today dogecoin was trading at 19 cents you know what i mean a 40 percent decline in value from last week and contesto who has tens of thousands of followers on instagram and twitter today tweeted that his doge investment stood at 764k guys he has dropped down 638 thousand dollars right guys over a half a million he has lost over half a million right he's still sitting up 764k still a good investment from 250,000, but he is still hodling why because he believes in doge what it stands for right and, and what crypto stands for right he's standing behind it right he wasn't just, i mean yet we're all in this to make money but he believes in the technology and what stands behind doge just like i do right i just wanted to briefly touch on this and show this guys because this isn't important it just like i said it, it further uh solidifies about being a true hodler and a true diamond hand and this is the true definition of a diamond hand right you can look into this article more if you want to i don't want to continue to bore you. i don't want to bore you by just reading and reading but i do like to keep you guys informed guys right that's how we stay ahead of the game and, and one step ahead right is continue to stay educated and and informed on what's going on <clears throat> in the crypto markets now guys here is uh here is a new company right guys that is uh, accepting doge as a form of payment there is already over 1400 companies worldwide that accept doge guys now this is important because it shows major adoption right and it shows acceptance of dogecoin and cryptocurrencies right right i'm going to read a tweet right here it's out of bitpay right guys now it says steve stefan zimmer who is the <clears throat> one of the either uh ceo or employee of imaginarium right which is the company that accepts doge it says just started to accept dogecoin recently through bitpay for our eighth year convention for creatives and writers of all genres imaginarium 2021 everything from tickets to sponsors right this is a big thing guys now i'll just briefly open this up and show who they are right <clears throat> they're screenwriters and sorry guys there's an ice cream truck uh rolling around here so if you hear that music that's the ice cream man bumping it all right, it says Imaginarium, right? Right, another convention, right? Which is in Jul July 9th through 11th. Now, this is huge, guys, right? Because you can use Doge as a form of payment, right? And that's what we're hoping for anyways, uh, for Doge to hopefully become, replace fiat, because, replace the dollar, and be, you know, Doge as a form of payment, right? So here's just another company that is, you know, standing behind Doge, right? Imaginarium. Okay, so now let's get into some more stuff here, guys. Now we're going to look into uh, another article here where talks about the co-creator right buying the dip right he hasn't bought in eight years guys now this is bullish and this is a positive catalyst right because it to me it means that he's standing maybe he he, he had a change of heart and believes in dogecoin now and, and what it stands for right and the movement behind it, it says dogecoin creator into meme coins on uh meme coin on dip or uh, buys into meme coin on the dip for first time in eight years right now it says co-creator billy marcus has sparked optimism in the dogecoin community doge army after he revealed he has purchased the mean cryptocurrency on the dip for the first time in eight years says marcus who goes by username 
uh, Shibodoshi Nakimoto on uh, Twitter disclosed that he had purchased 2500 of the Shibo Inu theme coin, adding that it was the first time he bought any crypto in t since 2013. I bought Dogecoin after 8 years of vowing never to buy crypto again, and an hour ago I have checked the price 7 times so far since then, I was up 10% and now it's back to up 3%. Anyways, this seems healthy. Anyways guys, the point I bring in this up <clears throat> is because obviously he probably believes, he obviously bought some because, not obviously, I mean I'm assuming, right? He bought it because he believes in what's going on with Dogecoin, right? Now, uh, it was created as a joke by them, but now there is a whole movement behind it, right? And we all believe in it, stand behind it, what it stands for, right? We're hoping that it will be, obviously, the the currency of Mars, <laughs> says uh, Elon Musk, and hopefully the currency of the world, you know what I mean? So, that's why it's important. Alrighty, guys, now I'm going to close out on this one right here, guys. Hopefully, you're with me till the end. Thank you for those of you that did. Right, I know it can be boring and it's just news, but nonetheless, guys, it keeps you informed. Like I said, oh man, oh yeah, they found this guy dead, right, guys? This guy that did a uh, this uh, 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 he was doing fraudulent stuff. John McAfee, they found him dead, guys. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys, have followed the story. My bad, guys. I was in the had it saved up here, guys. Let's see. Hopefully, it didn't go away. Oh, Dogecoin, right? Here we go. It says Dogecoin devs and Elon Musk push fee reduction proposal. This is huge, guys, right? Because if we're going to use Doge as a form of payment, right, throughout the world, then we want the transaction fees to be cheap. Now we have bumped up the transaction speed, right, via through loopering and you know Doge and, and Ethereum kind of uh, combining and working together through loopering. Now the transaction speeds are, are faster, right? Now. They're working on getting the transaction fees lower. This is huge, right? And a positive catalyst. It says the proof of concept which reduces those transaction fees by 90% is an important improvement, says Musk. Now, all right, I'm just going to briefly touch on this, guys. You can do your own research and look into it, right? Because I've been into this video 12 minutes, and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably getting tired of hearing my raspy voice. <laughs> it says Dogecoin developers have been hard at work on a new upgrade to the meme coins network without support from the miners and node uh, operators. However, the upgrade can't be adopted. All right, I'm just going to read on this uh, two art, uh, paragraphs here, guys, and then... Uh, I'm going to close out with that. Now, it says SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk and the core developers behind Dogecoin are pushing for an upgrade proposal to reduce transaction fees for the popular meme crypto from 1 Doge to 0.1 Doge, making it more viable as a payment method. That, that's a huge step, right, guys, for adoption. It says for the plan to be adopted, it must win community support and be taken up by Dogecoin miners and node operators. Eventually, the developers and Musk are aiming to introduce fees of 0.00 of 0 0.01 right guys that would that is huge if they can't get it to that it says the demo of proof of concept will be shown today at 2 p.m eastern standard time which already has right it says must was voted dogecoin ceo in 2019 surprisingly he accepted the temporary uh accolade all right guys now i'm just going to touch this uh uh on this uh this is one of the devs right he's his tweet it says i've heard some people are skeptical on the fee reduction code so i'll be doing a second run through of it live which they did on the dogecoin net, uh, test net on wednesday evening right and then elon tweeted back saying this is an important improvement and it is guys like i said guys this isn't decrypt right if you want to look it up and read the whole article yourself now that's what i had for you guys now if you found any anything in this video useful and helpful to you guys Please consider to like and subscribe. Don't forget about my giveaway, guys. And I like to keep you guys informed at all times. So hopefully it was helpful, guys. Thank you for those of you that stayed to the end. You guys stay safe. Stay blessed. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace out. Boom.